Hello and welcome to the latest tutorial for the Hostile Studios networking plugin. Let's create an example scene. You want to go into Game Logic View, and you'll be presented with the default cube. Now, in order to make this a movable cube, so, yeah, sorry, in order to make this a uh, connect, network connected cube, first type terminal dot server in this little window down here called components. If you don't see this, this means you need to re-download the components build from http colon forward slash forward slash graphical dot org forward slash 83 and click add component and you'll see server. This connects to uh, any connection it receives and it will uh, reply with the data sent so it acts a bit like a postman or sorting depot. This is your server. Now, to create a client, you would on the on the client game or client scene if you're using scenes, you would create a default object like your cube that you want to move around. You would type terminal dot client, click add a component, and now that will allow it to connect to the server and receive and send data. You could change the IP if you're having an external uh, server and the name of your client and the timeout settings etc. In order to allow the movement plugins to, to work or the orientation plugins etc the properties type plugins.manager. Both of these components can be on any object in the game but for now we're going to leave it on the cube for easiness and simplicity. This will allow the, the manager plugin is like the decoder plugin you used to add but in this case you only ever need one and it will act as a multiple decoder. Now, to add a, a position plugin, you used to type position dot, plugins dot position in code, you don't, you type plugins dot position, add component, and you'll see the same settings as before, and to add a orientation, plugins dot orientation, and that all works fine. You must change the, vari the variable and object scene uh, because that is the object that each other client will add and you will use the same game scene which means that as it's left as cube by default very often if you have a cube in your main scene it will add it and you'll get confusing errors so in order to best use this plugin create an object that looks like another player and call it player and type player in object scene data reduction is to reduce is if you want to use data saving techniques which doesn't stream real-time data this will not send any data if it hasn't changed and it will reduce the uh, data size by rounding if it can. You can see this for both orientation and for position. Reducing the data compression will uh, in fact or against your uh, instinct it will actually um, increase the space you have to send more data. And you can change the client transmit rate. I would put this to 30, not any higher than 30. 60 is quite laggy on more than one client. And we're done.